Hello everyone again. Back for more aggressive fun today. We're looking at replacing the power window mechanism on this Chevy Silverado pickup. The truck's almost 17 years old. It indicates that it's you know it's probably due for a few fixes here and there. So this one that's not too disappointing. It did wear out over a certain length of time. Um, we're going to go through and look at the electrical connections, the mechanical attachments, how you take the old one out, how you put the new one in, get it all back together and make sure that it operates. It, it is a powered window, so there's some uh, DC motor attachments there. We'll look at that as we, we tear it down and then get it all put back together. So with that, we'll get started. To begin with, there's a few screws here, not very many. There's one up in here. Here on the bottom it is the right size. So we'll take that one out, put it over here for safekeeping, and there's another one right in here. Much longer than the one from down below. You, you, by lifting this little module up, the, the door lock and the window up-down control will come out. There is another screw right here. Hoping that that's the last one. This piece comes off as well. The handle there. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect these switches from this plate to a point. There we go. A little bit of extra juice there to get it to cooperate. There is a connector down below here for the light, and there's one over here for the speaker. All right, we have to have access to this opening, so you have to peel back. I don't think you have to peel back too much of this inner liner, and we don't want to. We'd like to keep it as sealed as possible. This piece right here is a part of the mechanism, and there's one, two, three. Well, let's get it out. And it'll give us an idea of what we're looking at. Cut this guy open. It'll give us an indication of where those fastening points are. Make it a little bit easier to know how to take it out. So there it is. Um, I've been amazed at the engineering that has gone into these. I had a 1972 Chevy Nova when I was in high school. It was my first car. And I had the doors open for it. I never had to replace the mechanism for the window glass. But I was inside the door panel at times and I could see what was there. And it was heavy duty linkages metal that goes all over the place and it's been replaced now with this cable system that is more compact i i'd never like i said i never did have to replace one before but it i think this makes it so much easier to do this particular job with that i was kind of expecting the motor to come with that but i guess it doesn't Now, there's also a piece here that we need to be careful of because it's what attaches to the glass. So it's this piece here. There's the, the bolt head for it. It's right here on the one that's installed. As soon as I get these others loose, 
will then, there's another one here, you can see it on this side, we'll loosen that up. I'm not quite sure how much attention we're going to have to give the glass. I'm not sure that it will take that one out. Yep, do this one. done a passenger the driver's side window on this truck went bad a while back so I have replaced it so I'm but that was a few years ago and I'm going off of memory as far as how doing this so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the glass in order for this to come out of there it has to be loose Okay, and then when this goes back in, oh look, instructions. We don't need no stinking instructions. Okay. It, actually though, this is a window regulator. It's looking like where we've done exactly what it says. So we're on the right track. So it is connected. It'll, the motor can come out and then take the motor off, put it into this new spot, and away we go. Zoos. This one. tabs right here when we reinstall we'll made up with those tabs but you have to get that inside the door so this guy to want to swing down and it comes down and swings down into the bottom of the sole. and this one you do the same thing there's a tab right here and the window's going to come down so I'll hold the window in place while I try to to come down. There, it'll stay there. Okay, so here's the old one. You can see the cable here broke. Oops. The piece fell off. This piece came off of there too. Um, and the cable just rusted out and broke. Okay, so there's the old one. Comparing it to this new one, definitely have the right thing, and I need to unscrew right there on the motor. So I need these guys. in 
so that it's a little snugged up. since I had those other two already in place. Install. We do that in the reverse order again. So we will make sure that these are loose. Okay, we are ready to go back in. I will careful of the grease. These are greased up, but they should be. So don't put your hand in that. And the first order would be this guy sitting there first. something to do with their manufacturing process but all of the, those tools are oily brand new so a little bit of a beef there um, this job doesn't end up being all that dirty except the rails are a little bit dirty but I my hands end up getting almost as dirty from the tools as they do from the job which is kind of backwards okay Rant off the window has its tabs. There are still tabs on the glass that stick down, and then you can't see it because of the door structure. Um, but that's what we'll be aligning with these little squeeze, rubber squeeze units that the glass fits into. Back them off. You're ready to accept that. What I'll do is I will start this side. And I can, I can push it up. You can see I could bolt it in right now. It's actually in a good place on both of these. We're at, we're in good shape because the position of this guy is part way down. The window hasn't come down this far yet. So it doesn't hit on it. So right now you can see our little tab fits into the structure. 
of the door, ready to put the bolt in there, there, and there. So we can do those three right now. We have this side all in place and ready to go. Okay, we'll start up here. That one will start. that they have that hanging, this hanging guy, um, that pretty much keeps you out of trouble. It's got to go in where the bolt's going, where that hits the structure. So there's very little way that you could get that wrong. It's got to go back in just one way. Okay. That one tight, and this one will be ready to be tight. if my camera angle is not quite right. We don't have a camera operator helping me today, so we're winging it with the glasses given that I have to have both my hands. But hopefully this works out okay. This is kind of a first experiment using these pivot head glasses for the video. So hopefully it's working well. Okay, this other side. I need to get that tab that slot. So we'll do the same thing with this one. Move it up into place. So I get it there in the perfect. And once it's there, I can put this in to make sure it doesn't slide. And well. I'll do the motor connector, so we'll okay, do that in just a second. Okay, last one. That's the one we pulled through the plastic there. And it's kind of a pain to view everything here by not removing the plastic all the way, but it'll be really nice that at least it will stay in place. That one's tight. That one's tight. That one's tight. Okay. We have to connect the motor up so we don't forget that little detail. And now we just need to squeeze it to the glass. If this is the right side, it's hard to see. I'm pulling the glass down now to have it seat into the piece on the side. So this one's okay where it's coming down. This one. instructions about here. It says you can actually lift it up. I guess the point here is you want to have the motor plugged in, turn on your power, um, and raise the window up. And then there's access here where it can be tightened up. Yeah, we're 
back and working. You can see this guy's pushing up. That one down in there. Hopefully you can see it is pushing up. And hopefully the is coming up. Okay, and that's tight. Now those instructions, as cryptic as they are, don't say that you have to do anything else as far as alignment. And we, we shall see. I'm hoping that it's just as simple as that. We're up tight. We tighten that out. It worries me. I hate tightening these because you've got a piece of rubber with metal on both sides and a piece of glass in between. And the last thing you want to do is tighten it too tight and break the glass. So, I'm going to tighten it to there. So now, everything's out of the way, you don't have any wires or anything in the way. everything in reverse. Keeping in mind where everything needs to go. And just to verify, you've tightened all of these guys. I tightened those two, tightened all of these guys, and the motor's plugged in. We're good to go. Oh, this guy needs to come back to the first. It's always nice to do that double check because I can't count the number of times that I've not done a good double check. And then I get the whole thing back in place and realize that something's missed. In this case, I put this through, get the panel over here, get everything back in place, and then it, it may have been dangling down outside or whatever, but you definitely wouldn't have had your light, so would have had to redo all those steps. And we do not want to redo steps. Okay. I think with that, you have these handy little holes that the plastic hooks into and hopefully it holds it in place just long enough to get the door panel back on. Okay, we have to make sure that this guy is connected up around there again. I don't actually do it the same way that Backwards. So we're good. Yeah. And with that in place, we've got all of these clips that we'll go back in before start sliding. So you got to make sure that you line it up. Telltale sign is if that screw will go back in. And this screw. Which way? Well, it tightened up good, so we're in where we're supposed to be on that. So, but those aren't in place. Oh. Okay, now we will reinstall 
switches. So, and then this panel. Okay, we are all completed now, buttoned back up. That went very well, took a little bit longer than I expected, but there weren't any gotchas there. One thing that I did discover on the reassembly is there's the little linkage that the lock, the door lock mechanism, it goes, the plas this plastic piece goes over the top of that metal linkage. When I pulled this whole panel off, it bent that linkage a little bit and made it so that if you used the remote to lock the doors, it would jam and it wouldn't always lock, which is obviously a really bad thing. If you're wanting your automatic locks to lock and you're walking away from your vehicle, you want to make darn sure that they're locked. So I took it back apart and it turned out that that linkage on this very end of it had been bent up a little bit when I pulled the panel off in the beginning. I took a pair of pliers, bent it back down, it functions 100% now. So it's just something to look out for uh, when you're reassembling, that make sure that all those linkages are, are straight and nothing has been bent there. Like I say, it went well. I do like the, the ability to get it in and out of the door easily. I like the way that the linkages fit back together, that it's it's already a calibrated, like self-contained system with those cables. I don't have to figure out how how to place it so that the window goes clear to the top or so that it goes clear to the bottom. It just installs, you bolt it back in place, and you're done, which is really slick. I really like that. You don't have to do any extra adjustments to make sure that it's gonna close all the way and open all the way. So with that. As always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below the video there on the page. And thanks a lot for uh, checking out the video. Hopefully it was helpful for you and that you'll be able to use it to do your own repair vehicle. And uh, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.